But this is a big game for both of these teams. Stanford got the win over UNC, shocking win, maybe the biggest upset of the day, but then fell to Virginia Tech in their following game. So uh, now a chance to play against a very good Georgia team as we see Parker Bray shoot one deep. Yeah, a chance to play against this Georgia team is a chance to try and defend Parker Bray, and there's discussion about whether or not this will stand as a goal. He keeps getting ready to call it a score, and finally does. <laughs> and everyone's hands go up as... Bray and Langstaff just working it back and forth. Inside break from Bray to Jones, and an easy dish to continue on to the break side for the goal for John Ross Ingley. Georgia, for their part, 12 and four coming into this game, number seven in the USAU rankings and number nine in our power rankings. As Bray just cannons an inside forehand to David Petmecki, and another hold, another Bray assist. I mean, how many different throws have we seen from him already this game? I wouldn't be surprised if he's challenging. Hey, if you're gonna, th you better throw a perfect throw in this wind or else I'm gonna get to it or you're gonna overthrow it. And his underthrow reeled in by Mishin. Difficult catch. And now his throw floats just a little bit. Bray gets underneath it and he puts it right into the end zone in the hands of Geno Mattis. Now maybe that con quality of competition is also dropped by adding more teams. That's a question that I don't quite know the answer to as Langstaff takes the space pass from Bray and then immediately continues it in the end zone for Machine. For it didn't last long last time Georgia had the disc. Bray, cross field and second ever grab. Nice work there from Hunter Cuts. Now here's Bray. Again, lofting one, looking for Rodgers. Rodgers with a nice read and catches it past the bidding defender, and Georgia draws first blood on Bloodthirsty. They now lead 6-4. <laughs> Bray, speaking of player of the year shortlist, dishing it over to Langstaff. Langstaff makes him work a little bit for the reset. And now Bray launching a backhand, looking for Mishin, and he goes up over Hernandez to send this one to half. Just how Georgia draws it up. And now he and Chardick are matched up. Can Chardick catch up to that one? No, the pancake layout, not there. And now Bray looking deep. Pumps it and comes under for Hunter Cuts. Fun matchup here with Bray and Chardock. Yeah, two player of the year candidates here. Now Bray takes his shot and has a man. Brandon Lee on the other end of that one. And Georgia breaking to start the half. Just trying to sit in the lane a little bit and take away the huck. You can see kind of a two-man poaching cup. And why bother? Just go with the hammer. Bray fires his seventh assist. I, I, will, I will be very happy when we are able to put together the production package to give you during those conversations. <laughs> oh, man. I... I if you stepped away from the screen for a moment and you had to guess how Georgia just scored, I'm pretty sure you'd guess right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Parker take a look. Parker Bray backhand deep shot. Snags that one with one hand and then a nice reset throw to Bray with space. Everyone's real deep, no reset here available for Bray. And now he's gonna go deep looking for Haskell. Does Haskell have it with the broken toe? Yes he does! Seven for seven, Parker Bray! And this is just unbelievable. 